It was back in 2013, Illinois became the last state in the country to allow people to conceal and carry a gun. State statistics show most permits are owned by white middle class men in rural and suburban areas. But the number of women with FOID cards has grown over the years, as our Matt Metcalf shows us from the vault. More women are registered to own a firearm in Illinois than at any time in the state's history. But it's more than just having a gun, it's having the ability to protect yourself. Lisa Braxton shared the empowering story of one central Illinois woman's decision to lock and load. It's from the vault, 1997. I do feel more comfortable at home at night because I keep it in my room and I do keep it loaded when I'm at home and I know that I know how to use it. Annie Denno learned how to fire a handgun about four months ago and after a series of lessons at area firing ranges, she's hitting targets with confidence. I'm not scared to use it and if someone were to come in my home, I'd, you know, I'd feel safer than if I didn't have it. I know if I didn't have it, I couldn't protect myself. Women who choose to purchase a handgun can derive a tremendous sense of security from that decision. The experts advise that you educate yourself before you get a gun. The firearm is potentially one of the greatest equalizers in our society, uh, but at the same time, it can be a tremendous liability to someone that don't know how to use it. In addition, Officer Tharp says gun purchasers need to understand right to carry restrictions in Illinois. A person can legally own and possess a firearm in their home or their business, but they can't legally carry it on the street inside of a, a corporate city limits. Uh, they can't carry it in their vehicle loaded and accessible anywhere in the state. Firearm manufacturers are responding to the increased demand from women by designing guns that are colorful and sleek. We don't recommend or don't want, and certainly you know, as a uh, retail establishment, I don't want to see a lady shoot somebody. But what we're hoping is that the gun with the brightness and the color will deter you know, any type of aggressive action against her. And that's what we really want. Deno says she's not ready to fight off an attacker, but she is equipped to fire a revolver. It's better to have it there and never need it than to not have it and need it. A philosophy of comfort for Deno and millions of other women. In St. Joseph, Lisa Braxton, the Channel 3 News at 10. 2018 data from a Pew Research Center survey found that 22% of women who were surveyed own a gun. From the vault, I'm Matt Metcalf.